Count me down. On your mark, get set, rock, rock it! A sad ruck is a happy back. So, oh. this ruck is worth $850. Folks, welcome back to Shift Fire, baby. Yes, look at these nice new t-shirts that we have. It's good to be back, folks. I am Israel Wright, former Green Beret out of Fort Lewis, Washington, and with me, as always, thank you, Israel. What's going on, guys? Great to be back. My name is Cameron Fath. I'm a former Army Ranger, also out of Fort Lewis, Washington, and we are so excited because we have another segment of War, War Wallet. Wallet for your pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, today on War Wallet, we are going to be looking at rucksacks. You asked for it, we delivered. We're gonna take a look at a couple different rucksacks that are available on the market. But before we dive into this video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and like this video if you want to see more badass content from us. Without further ado, let's get into it. Starting at probably the cheaper option of where you're gonna find, you have Alice. So, Alice, Alice stands for all purpose, lightweight, individual carrying equipment, right? It was invented in the latter half of the 1960s, introduced to the military in 1970s, and is still being used by military branches to this day. Actually, this is my personal Alice pack because it was weird. When I showed up to regiment, you go to CIF, and I was expecting to get, you know, the Molly pack, mm -hmm. and they gave me an Alice pack. And I was like, what the hell is this thing? This thing's old, man! Right. And then I put it on my back, and I realized why these are still in operation. They are so comfortable, you can put these things through hell, you can jump them, the frames are made of metal. I would not recommend, if you're looking into summiting Everest, or summiting your local mountain, this probably isn't the pack you wanna take, right? right? But if you are in the military, and you're looking for a great rucksack, or you are a civilian, looking for a good backpacking backpack, this rucksack is gonna do it for you. Obviously, this one is outfitted with a little bit of fancy upgrades. Right. But it'll come with a standard steel frame with the kidney belt and the standard straps. And you can literally pick this up from a surplus store if they have availability for anywhere from around $70 to like $130 for like a used kit. As far as new ones, a lot of people make reproductions of these and you can probably get a complete pack. Oh, really? For around $110 to $180. Oh. Now, there is two sizes available in Alice Pack. Mm. So you can get them in a medium pack or you can get them in a large pack. This one we have here is a large pack. I like it because there's more room. It's advertised as a carrying load up to 70 pounds, but it can take and handle way more than that, let me tell you. There's a few things that are sure in life. Death, taxes, and sewing shops right outside military base, all right? <laughs> yeah. They said the same thing to us. When we got to the Q course, they issued us our Alice packs, and they said, go to this shop, tell them you want this kind of modification done to it, it costs this much, bring your Alice pack back after the weekend. So, talking about these fast things, right, as upgrades, this is what I got going on right here. So, I have an upgraded metal frame, right? I have an upgraded kidney belt for more cushion, and then I have the upgraded straps. These upgrades are all by Tactical Taylor. I'm sure you're familiar with them. Oh yeah, Tactical Taylor is legendary. Actually, Izzy, hand me that pack right to you right, right. there. This is the Super Mod Alice pack. This is a modified Alice by <laughs> Tactical Taylor, right? So, looking at the frame, it doesn't have the upgraded, but these are your standard ones. You'll typically see it from a surplus yep. or how they're issued to you. You have your three standard pouches that come with the Alice pack. Works out great, but sometimes you need access to things outside your ruck, like socks, cold weather equipment, you know food, sustainment gear, and you don't want to go digging for it. They added five pouches up top, one on the right, and then two, three, four, and five, and they work out amazing. For an extra $87 for the five pouches, you're looking at $160 to $200 for just an awesome sustainment rucksack system. When you combine the straps with the frame and the super belt with these patches and all the things, you have an ultimate war fighting rucksack, right? Yeah. For an affordable price. Let's do some math here and my brain's gonna start working overtime. See the steam start yeah. coming out of your head. So I paid $70 for this truck plus $250 for this, so $320. Plus the pouches, you're looking at spending $400 for this ruck. All right, so just to get a warm and fuzzy idea of how these rucks sit on our backs and perform, we're gonna go ahead and conduct about a 200 yard run, followed by a couple push-ups, followed by moving the ground away from us. You ready, buddy? Yes, I am. Count me down. On your mark, get set, rock, rock it! Boom, boom, 
boop. It's all about breathing. It's all about breathing. Let's go! <laughs> let's go, let's go! Those glasses aren't standard issue. Oh yeah. What? Yeah, baby. I'm not counting, by the way. 13, 14, and 15. That can't, you, nobody can push up that fast. No one can. The Alice pack is great, man. Yeah. Super comfy. What a tried and true design, man. It never fails. <laughs> it never fails. The Alice Pack is a tried and true system, but you know, if you're in the market, get a standard one. They're super cheap. Do yourself a favor. If you want, upgrade them. That's fine too if you want to spend the extra money. But let's take a look at another rucksack that I'm sure you're familiar with as well <laughs> that does the job just fine for a little bit more cheddar. Get that out of here. No! Oh, ACU. ACU is the worst camo in the world. Here we go. All right, so if you're in the military, specifically the Army, you know exactly what this is. This is the Molly 2 General Issue Rucksack. Molly stands for Modular Lightweight Load Carrying Equipment. So this is when you show up, you're gonna get this. This is what you're gonna use in basic training. This is what you're gonna use in all of the Army. This is issued to you. I love this rug. Me personally, the only downfall is that you have a plastic frame, so if you're loading it super heavy, you might get it creaks and cracks when you're walking, yeah. which might be a little annoying at nighttime, especially if you're trying to do a long infill. But as far as just the capability of carrying so much equipment, this does a great job. A lot of people don't know how to actually set this ruck up. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, it's super modular. I mean, you can move all these ports, all these little inserts here, you can push your straps up and down. You can push your kidney belt up and down. A lot of people think the kidney belt has to go you like this. And I learned very fast in ranger school and we had a saying is a sad ruck is a happy back. We turn it upside down because it covers more of the lower back. It'll go higher on It'll your back. It'll go higher on your back. So okay. instead of sitting, you know, on your belt line down here and giving you chafe on the top of your butt crack, okay. by flipping it, you are pushing it a little higher up on your back and give you some more lower back support. Okay, cool. And then also these straps here, you can hook them a little closer to your neckline if you're a smaller guy like me, or if you're a big dude, you can hook them on the outsides here. Like I said, there's a lot of options for this pack. The Lego system of the military, if you will. All right, so the capacity on this bad boy in the main pouch should be around 4,000 cubic inches, which is, I believe, around 60 liters. You got a lot of room in this rucksack. Plus, you have two 500 cubic inch sustainment pouches on the outside that you can put cold weather gear, you can put rain gear in there, you can put MREs in there, you can put whatever you want and it makes it super easy to get to if you don't want to go crawling through your rucksack. One of my favorite parts about this rucksack is on the inside, you actually have this flap that allows you to zip it together and then utilize the bottom of the rucksack which also opens up for easy access. So there's this flap here that zips together like so, and now you have two different compartments. By doing this, you can put all your heavy on top and it's separated by that sleeve and you can put your sleeping bag at the bottom. You can put all the things you want for nighttime at the bottom. So when it comes to it, you don't have to take out everything on top of your sleep system yeah. and then grab it and then repack it. You can just unzip it pull out your sleeping bag. You never even have to pop the top. When you're done, throw it all back in, zip it up, and you're good to go. I've seen these on Amazon for like 230 bucks. I've seen these go on eBay from anywhere between like 80 bucks, depending on the camo, of course, because right. ACU, you'll get those ones for free. But I've seen this brand new go for, you know, 230, 250, depending. But you, you can get it bad, on man. eBay. Yeah, it's like, it's like a mid-range rucksack, and it's huge. Yeah. That is the Molly Gen 2. I really dig the rucksack. If you get issued it, like I said, you should dig it too. Just learn how to use it and you'll be perfectly fine. Let's All right, you ready, brother? Let's pace it out. All right. Three, two, one. On you! Yeah, special Forceman! You know what, I'm not gonna come back. I'm just gonna keep on going. <laughs> these guys. 
God, this wind's making my nose run more than Scarface. Let's go, Izzy! Alright, let's do air squats. Let's do air squats. Air squats are right. Or burpees, whatever you prefer. Hell no! Nice, how's that weight feel on your back? Feels good. Okay. It's well balanced. I feel like it's bouncing a little bit. It is up, yep. Yeah. Uh, Alright. The plastic frame, I felt like it. It bounces, it moves, more it's of a malleable. Balance, yeah, to it, so. Yeah. That was a little bit different from the Alice and Malice. Yep. But uh, solid. Straps are fine. Straps are yep. fine. Okay, man. Let's go a little bit more expensive. All right. And see what we got here. Let's go next level. Oh. Hey, Cameron. Hey, Izzy. You just showed us this rucksack. This is not the same rucksack, obviously, because it's multicam. But this is the actual Tactical Taylor Malice. Pack. This is produced by Tactical Tailor, distributed through them, and it has every upgrade that Tactical Tailor has. Has the super straps, has the super belt, has the light frame, has the fast tack upgrades, and additionally, it comes in two versions. So, version two will be your basic ones, which is, you know, what your Alice pack would be upgraded to have with every single upgrade. But then if you want to spend a little bit more money, you can get the version three, which comes with a collapsible sleeping bag pouch that rolls onto the bottom. So just like the Molly 2 Gen, if you have sleeping system, you can put it down there so you don't have to reach everything out. Okay. The only downfall about this is, you know, when you're walking, it's hitting your butt because yep. it's down there. Version also three. the version three, the right pouch is larger, so it can accommodate a hydration bladder. So the price tag on this bad boy is gonna be 565 for the version three. I wish Regiment issued these ones because they're such an upgrade to the Alice pack. In my opinion, this is one of the ultimate rucksacks you can have. I mean, it has everything you would ever need. Storm flap, five pouches, got so much space. You know, unfortunately, this one does not belong to me. I had to borrow it, but he might not be getting it back after this. That's how much I love this rucksack. You ready? Yeah, let's do it, man. All right, count me down. Three, two, one. Attack! 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 Kill! Less commentary on this one. I believe in you! All right, all right, Cam. Push up time, get some. Ooh. One, two. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah. All right. Cam, experience. Still the same, felt different, better, worse. Um, straps definitely make a difference. The kidney belt, sometimes, depending on the back size, like I have a short torso, so I will start to feel the frame on my shoulders. Oh, really? Yeah, it's just because the frame design's a little bit bigger. You think it's might... thicker, the poles are thicker. So, might make a difference after a couple miles, you think? Yeah, I mean, I've rubbed my shoulders raw with this one. <laughs> you don't care. But I don't fucking care. <laughs> Scars are just free tattoos. Very Ranger, I like it. So, great option. Tackle Taylor Malice Ruck. Let's take a look at our last and most <laughs> expensive Ruck. Ooh. You ready? We're going Gucci. We are going Gucci. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. All right, folks. Here as our most expensive rucksack with a whopping price tag of $850 is the Mystery Ranch 6500 rucksack. So. Oh. I'm going to be completely honest. At first, when we pulled it out of the bag off camera, I was like, this Ruck is worth $850. Dollars? No way! Until I put it on my back. <laughs> and then I was like, no wonder this is worth $850. The nice, it's literally called the nice frame system offered by Mystery Ranch. It's three crossbars, three vertical, and three horizontal. And it literally feels like somebody's tenderly hugging you from behind. You notice the tighter you tighten the straps, 
the more comfortable it feels. It's one of the most comfortable rucks I've ever put on my back. I mean, you can tell the cummerbund right here, it's that good like around the hips kind of mm -hmm. hugging yeah, action. Kidney belt. And this is something I've never seen before going up here to the middle section, these yeah, little pads. Yeah, it's just pads. more support because say you're wearing a plate carrier, I've noticed that these work really well. Oh. If you have a plate carrier on your back, it just okay. adds some extra support. It doesn't have a whole lot going on in there. You do have a collapsible sleeping bag compartment down here, just like the Molly Gen 2 where it has those two compartments. You can put all your sleeping stuff on the bottom here and easy to get to just with this rollout. And it cinches down to keep it nice and tight and all your main stuff up top. Up top here, you have a Molly insert as well. There's just a lot of room in here. Looking into it, it's like a black hole. It goes Hello. far. I think 6,400 around there cubic inches, which like measures out to be 100 liters. So you have a lot of room to pack your stuff. Plus you have two front storage pouches up here if you want to put cold weather gear, like snibble gear. You also have a removable top flap. Oh, so you can take this thing yes. off. The removable top flap's an awesome little gesture that Mystery Ranch did. And this one has a lot of pouches. Maybe when you see all the pockets, you don't really get it at first. But as you do more and more operations, you see the viability of having just lots of pockets because it's a lot of different options. Okay, when I put this on my back, you'll see how high the pack rides. The kidney belt literally sits on my kidneys and that's where it's supposed to be. <laughs> Plus, all this weight is sitting on top of my shoulders. You can carry up to 70 pounds comfortable with this pack and up to 100 pounds stabilized. There's a lot of thought that goes into it. The materials are really nice. The frame system in the back really is a big draw. Yeah, plus you have Molly on your kidney belt so you can add more pouches if you're rolling. Smoke grenade pouches, frag grenade pouches on hey, here if you need right. to get away quickly because yeah. you're not gonna drop rucks. You're just gonna haul ass with it. We've said a lot of great things about this pack, but the one gripe I have with Mystery Ranch packs, and this seems to happen to all of them, the inside of your straps is made of like this netting material. Okay. And after just, you know, one or two uses, the friction of you rubbing on it will literally make it fray off. Ah. And if you put it down on like the ground, everything will attach to this. Little weeds yeah. and barbs. You ever get those little foxtails yeah, that fox fucking tails. get in your socks? Out in the desert, yep. Yeah, those will stick in that <laughs> and you'll be sitting there with a multi-tool on downtime, picking like them picking them one on one. That's all I have pretty much to say about this pack. This is cool. This is super gooch for Super high gooch. End. Super gooch. Super gooch. <laughs> all right. All righty. Oh man, I feel so taken care of. It's like a warm embrace. It is. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go! Yeah! I'm gonna run to my car and put this pack away real quick. They will never see this pack again. Ha. He just looks like, like a British SF guy. My shoelace is coming up tight. Overcome, my shoelace. Don't let it stop you. Improvise the after and overcome. Yep. All right. Oh my God, burpees, you animal. Let's get five Let's burpees. Oh, Let's go, three more. And so, stage burpees. Oh, Two more. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. That was fun, right? I think you missed one, but it's no, okay. No. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> nice, how'd that feel? Well, the burpees didn't feel very good, but. Yeah, I mean the actual rocking. I can one, get an idea. This thing ain't moving, man. It does, it's solid. And it's comfy. It is comfy, it's solid. There's no hard points. No. The plastic or the uh, the pads right here on the side. Yeah. Maybe you can film a little bit if you're moving, but if I'm just kind of cruising, walking. Yeah, it's cool, man. Those it's, can be removed as well. Oh, well that's super handy. Yeah, this thing's got it where it counts, man. And then some. That's good. I like it. Oh wait, camp. What about this rock? What can are you going to do with this? Can I see that real yeah. quick? Yeah, what do we get? Ah! ACU has no place here. <laughs> I threw that pretty far. <laughs> we came out here to the great wide open with the soccer moms and their kids. Tried out 
all the different varieties of rucks that we have here. General thoughts, Cam, what do you think? All great options. I don't have a lot of bad to say yeah. about any of these rucks. Really consider what mission set you are chasing or you're gonna be operating in. Consider your goals. What do you want out of these rucks? Do you wanna be in a very combat effective ruck, sustained in combat operations? Do you want a ruck? Nani. Do you want a ruck that can, you know, also support combat operations, but give you more of a training value for preparing for selections? Or do you just want three solid ruck options? Yeah. It's up to you. Well, fire team, if you guys liked how my hair looks or this video, go ahead and press that like button. Go ahead, leave a comment. Tell us your preferences for ruck sacks or if you have any experience with the rucks that we played with today. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel to stay up on the latest from Shift Fire. Thank you guys so much for watching. Till next time. But before we waste time, let's waste time saying this. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me try that again. I don't think I ever actually got issued a Molly pack until I got to until I got to, I was gonna say regiment. No, that's I mine. I personally own a Mystery Ranch three-day assault pack at home. Too. Maybe I'll own one after this video. Maybe. Mm-hmm. <laughs>